Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite plays in Madden 25. I think this is really one of the best route combos in the game because of what it is able to do, uh, just in terms of its capability to be able to beat a variety of coverages. Now, this is the play best flat spot. This is in the Colts offensive playbook in the Gun Bunch Strong Nasty formation. And if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, I'll put a link to our school community in the description. By being a school member, you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25. Let's go ahead and get on the field here. I like to run this with my bunch to the wide side of the field. And the setup is we're just going to stem this outside corner all the way down so that it runs really sharp. We're then going to streak our, uh, we're going to then streak our slot receiver. And then what I like to do is post my tight end. So this is kind of what the combo looks like. And essentially what I'm looking for here is if they drop back like that, a lot of times this drag just super quick is going to be wide open. But essentially what's going to have to happen is they're going to have to switch stick onto this corner. I'm going to try to kind of force it in here against this. You can see how I can kind of throw this uh, basically up and to the right against a curl flat. And then let's say that they – decide that they want to play like hard flat coverage you'll see here that the window is even more open if they play that hard flat coverage and as you notice that out that's an outside quarter out there really just not playing it um, he's just going to consistently give this up again and again and again and so the beauty of this as well is you'll see like here's base press um, is they're going to have to start to switch stick to go defend the corner so uh, we're just going to kind of imitate that by um, you know, and if it's a cover two, real quick, let me actually show that. So if it is a cover two, you'll see that this corner oftentimes will run right over the top of it. Um, sometimes you can get that right there. And there's a couple of options that we have. The first one is you can just take your simple check down here to the flat and let him just run after the catch. That's the easiest way to do it. And it's the simplest and it's just the easiest. It's the easiest way to do it. However, if you stem this and let's say instead of going all the way down, you like go about like that five yard ish range and they're running that cover two. A lot of times this corner can kind of get a lot more over the top of a cover two if you're anticipating that they might be doing that. Another thing that you can do is let's say you want to kind of keep it in that short corner type of uh, range then what you're able to do here is free form and high point it joe burrow's high point might be broken on this game but essentially you're just trying to kind of loft it over the top and, and honestly a lot of times you're going to be able to uh you're actually going to be able to throw this over the top if i just wait 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 and sauce gardener is just going to ruin me so anyway you can just throw the ball running back um, eventually they'll come up if they soft squat over here which is one of the most popular adjustments this year is to soft squat the outside corner to try to stop stuff like what we're doing, then what you're able to do is the – see how that soft squat kind of matches him like that? Again, you just check it down to your running back. That's all you got to do, okay? That being said, um, to kind of imitate that, I'll, we'll, we'll basically run it like that. And essentially what will then happen is if they do those adjustments, then you're going to have this high-low in the middle of the field. So I look out there, oh, that's kind of covered. I'm looking right to my drag and post. And normally the drag is going to be wide open. It's very difficult uh, for them to, to, to properly defend the drag route this year. The drag route is just almost always open. But that being said, if they use it or if they come down on the drag, then what you're really looking for is this post route kind of in this little soft seam area of the field. It's a really, really good spot of the field against cover three and cover four coverages, which is normally what they're going to do. Um, you don't really see cover two a ton this year. Um, you know, again, here you kind of see, and I'm just, I'm not free forming, I'm just pass leading it. And I like to kind of possession catch it. Uh, one thing you can also do if you want to in this post route is you can, you can actually stem the post up one and make it run just a little deeper and kind of really pull those yellows out of the middle of the field. But that is um, how I like to beat zone out of this. Obviously, they can't play match coverage on the right side. And then as far as how is this, how is this combo against man coverage, normally your uh, everything kind of did get crazy back there, which just rarely happens. Um, but normally your corner out is going to be your read. And then if it's not open, normally this tight end post will be open or this backside drag. Um, so you see here, corner route, you can kind of cut it off in this game and it's really not going to matter because you can just, I mean, you can just ag everything. 
If you want to use a stemmed curl to the slot receiver, that'll beat cover zero really well. Um, if they're pressing or anything, he'll kind of just get off the line of scrimmage. And then really the drag and the post is my main read against man coverage. Now, normally this tight end drag um, is a lot, or the tight end post is a lot better. Let me actually stem him down one and just see how that runs. I think it's a little bit better. He's just getting bumped. The random bumping in this game is, is just literally generational. But in general, if you want the tight end to beat main coverage a little bit better, one of the things that you can do is you can put him on an in route and stem that in route up to about 10 to 15 yards. Now he'll get a super sharp cut against man, and you can just basically catch it like that. So this one of my favorite all-around everything beaters. It just beats every coverage in the game. It's really simple and uh, a lot of quick reads for you. So thanks for watching the video. If you're going to check out the rest of the offensive ebook, the link is going to be in the description to go join the school site. The school community has um, several ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25, always getting updates throughout the year. It's only 10 bucks for both games. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.